how hot do they get? Well, with our Lasco 22, this one peaked at 230 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas this unit peaked at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the Lasco 22 Tower Space Heater with the Lasco 755320 Tower Space Heater. I did purchase both of these items myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in either of these products, the links will be in the video description. First and foremost, you can see these heaters look eerily similar. Let's go ahead, let's go over some of the physical similarities and differences. So first up, we can look at the heaters side by side from the front, and you may have noticed both come with remote controls that have just about the same buttons and functionality. You can see for the 22 version, that's what we'll be calling this guy, the 22. It has a larger remote that's not as compact and smaller buttons, whereas the other Lasco unit, you can see this remote control has larger buttons, but a smaller and more compact remote control. In regards to design, you can see on the 22, it's going to be a smidge taller. They're pretty much identical in height, but maybe just a smidge taller on the back than our other unit. But they follow the same design pattern. We have the oscillating base, the Lasco logo and branding down below. Then you can see we have our grill cover right here and our heater inside. Indicator light right here on this unit. We do not have that one in the same spot on the 22. Now let's go ahead, let's look at them from the side. So they follow a similar design profile and aesthetic on the sides. Again, we have just about the same screw placement, but different covers and paneling. Same can be said for the other side as well. You can see how they look. So looking at them from the back side, you can see again, very similar placement for everything. We have our grip handle up top. I would say this unit has a slightly larger grip handle. They have the same air intake slots, as you can see, same pattern and design as well, even though the plastic's different. And then we have the integrated power cable at the base of both units. Now looking at the base of the unit, you can see to my left, we have the Lasco 22. It's got a larger footprint and base, but again, eerily similar to each other and neither of these space heaters have any sort of tip over switch on the bottom, so keep that in mind. So looking at both units from the top, you can see for the Lasco 22, we have over buttons and controls down below, and then we have static font on our display up top, and then the buttons and controls just cycle an indicator light, an LED light, through the settings that you can choose and select. So it's not technically a screen or display, it's really just an indicator light going through the different options that you have. Whereas to the right, we actually have a display down here with our buttons up top. So now let's talk about performance. So first up with the Lasco 22, we peaked at 55.9 decibels for our max loudness. Whereas with our other Lasco unit, we peaked at 54.5 decibels. So we can round this up to 55 and we'll round that one up to 56. And that's a wash. They're both just about the same in regards to loudness. In fact, I would say listening to both together in the studio, you would not be able to tell them apart. So they're both fairly quiet. Now, in regards to heat, how hot do they get? Well, with our Lasco 22, this one peaked at 230 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas this unit peaked at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if it's a mental thing just because I knew the temperatures. I did feel like this heat was maybe a little bit hotter then this unit, obviously it measured that way, but I just swear like putting my hand nearby and even right now the units have been off for a couple minutes. This one is still really warm on the grill where this one is not as warm. So with that being said too, the heater itself might be a little bit further in. So when I'm measuring the temperature, it's not gonna read as hot. So there's a couple different variables there, but I would say you're not gonna notice a difference in temperature either. So where does that leave us? So that leaves us looking at price and the other features that we get on the unit. So with that being said, which one would I choose? Well, let me preface this by saying at the time of this video, this unit costs $6 more than this unit. So which one would I buy? I would easily go with this unit, even though it's a couple of bucks more expensive. Why is that the case? Well, for me personally, I really like having the built-in screen and seeing our current room temperature. That's really nice and handy. So that's definitely a worthwhile upgrade in my opinion. The second thing is more of a practical reason. So with this particular unit, when you press the power button, the unit comes on and off as you would expect. Whereas with the Lasco 22, when you press it on, the unit comes on, but when you press it off, it cycles through some of the additional settings and then you have to press it again to power it off. So that's not my favorite 
feature at all. I actually find it rather annoying to use this one when I have to go to turn it off, especially if you're in a rush. It kind of seems dangerous to me that the power button just doesn't turn it on and off right away. So it just gets a little bit more confusing, not as user friendly. Definitely worthwhile to pick up that nice display up top to see the room temperature and to have a much easier to use power button and just control panel overall. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.